Hi, today we will talk about user port on Commodore Plus 4 and especially about, about 8 I.O. lines that we have av available. Now, Plus 4 is a business computer and it should have more powerful user port than Commodore 64. And it does. While the Commodore 64 was lacking of the real RS-232 hardware, Plus 4 has it. It has dedicated chip just for it. So, the plus 4 speeds are go up to 19,200 BPSs, while the Commodore 64 can go only up to uh, 2,400. So, plus 4 is mu mu much powerful here. But let's talk about these 8 I.O. lines that we have uh, available. So, on Commodore 64 there are also these 8 lines and we we can control them freely uh, we can uh, set direction of each pin so we can define is it uh, input or output uh, we can change the state of the pin so we, we have complete control uh, not so much on the plus four so the plus four um, there is no register to control direction of these pins and the only way that we can control it is by hardware lines so this is not option for us here and the other problem is that you cannot do individual control so either eight, eight all eight lines are output or eight lines are input so this is not very good also so but there is a reason for that so to be fair these eight lines are actually used as a part of the parallel port and it's implemented with a 6529B um, chip and this chip does not support independent data directions so uh, there is nothing we can do about it so it's a shame that we have a very neat um, little computer uh, with enhanced basic um, good serial speeds and it would be absolutely great for Internet of Things uh, solutions uh, and some other DI smart things, um, some kind of uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, but unfortunately not. So by default these eight lines are defined as output pins, so we can try to use it somehow. And uh, the state of the pins is, are mapped uh, to address FD10 uh, in hex. And that is uh, 64,784 in decimal. So we can poke a peak a little bit. So if we poke zero, uh, the, um, all eight pins are uh, set to low. Uh, and if we poke to 255, all eight pins are set to high. And so I made this uh, little board this protoboard um, with eight LEDs and they can be controlled by these eight lines. So also uh, so we can can we can uh, set this to 100 and let's see. And also we can read the value. Four. And we should try to print it. So try to print it. Okay, here we go. And if we set to one and we it's one. So <coughs> let's try to play with it.
I will make this um, schematics of this little board available online. It's not very um, complicated. Uh, for each line there is um, uh, one transistor, NPN type, um, and two resistors. So <coughs> the pin, uh, IO pin of the Commodore Plus 4 actually drives the uh, transistor which opens the open opens the current that goes through the LED and the LED lights up 